Hello, Jessica Frost Bowes here with a video for Chibitronics. Today I'm sharing a fun interactive light up card using a reed switch and our new rainbow fade animating LEDs. When you move the little light bulb to the right side of the card, the circuit completes and the LED stickers light up. So let's get started. First, I blend my background with Distress Oxide inks. I'm blending a rainbow of colors on a diagonal, but putting pink in the center as I'd rather see more purples and pinks and less green, but that's just a personal preference. I use a fairly heavy hand to apply ink here and start by laying down each color. Then I go back and blend between the colors. I don't stress about getting a perfect transition here because I'll be adding lots of sparkle and die cutting to the panel later. While I'm blending, I want to quickly share about the 2023 Black Friday sales over at Chibitronics. From November 22nd to the 28th, we're offering 25% off site-wide with the code BF2023. You'll find a link to shop above or in the YouTube description below. I highly recommend stocking up on our animating LEDs and craft with light kits. Once the panel is dry, I spritz it with water and shimmer spray. I let it dry again and then die cut it with the Lawn Fawn Giant Outlined Marion Bright die. I keep all the pieces to use later. I've also die cut the small light bulb from Lawn Fawn's String of Lights die set. I die cut the two large pieces from white cardstock and the tiny end cap from silver glitter cardstock. I use Copic markers in Y11, 13, 15, 17, and 38 to color the bulb, adding shading along one edge for a little dimension. Next, I die cut the giant outline Marion Bright again from gold glitter cardstock. I place it over a panel of black cardstock and use a pencil to trace the inside of the three small sparkles. Then I use a hole punch to punch each of those circles out. I place that panel on top of a second panel of black cardstock and use a pencil to trace the holes I've just punched. This will be my circuit panel and will be hidden below the punched panel and the glitter and rainbow die cuts. To start building my circuit, I place a three volt coin battery onto the bottom of my panel and trace around it. This is just a placement reference for me. I'm using the new rainbow fade animating LEDs that are shaped like flowers, but I can use the stencil of our original LED shape to give me a general idea of where my stickers will go. The longer part of the stencil will be the positive side of the sticker, and the shorter point of the stencil will be the negative side of the sticker. I center the stencil over each circle and then trace the stencil. I keep the shorter point towards the outside edge of the panel and the longer edge towards the middle of the panel. Next, I use a pencil to outline my circuit. I start by drawing a line from the battery to the shorter points of each traced outline, which is the negative side of the sticker. These points will be connected to the bottom negative side of the battery. Then I draw a line from the longer sides of each traced outline, which is the positive side of the sticker, to the top of my battery. However, I leave a gap between the last sticker and the battery. I'm going to be using a reed switch that will fill that gap. If you've never heard of a reed switch, let me take a moment to chat about them. They're small electrical components with two thin fibers inside that are not touching. These fibers are susceptible to magnets, and when a magnet is placed nearby, it pulls the two fibers together until they touch, which completes the circuit and allows your LED stickers to light up. If there is no magnet nearby, your circuit will not complete. This allows you to create a movable piece that can be used to switch your lights on or off, creating a unique interactive card. So anyway, back to my circuit. Now that my circuit is traced out, I can start applying my conductive fabric tape over the lines I drew. First, I apply a little adhesive over the battery outline. This will help hold my battery in place. Then I start applying my conductive fabric tape, starting from the negative side of the circuit. As I reach corners or angles, I fold the tape back on itself and create a crease. Then I can fold it forward in the direction I wish to go. This tape is strong and pretty forgiving, so you can adjust it as needed. It's also conductive on both sides, so if you run out of tape, you can just overlap a second piece of tape on the first and keep going. When I reach the battery outline, I use the end of the fabric tape to create a little loop. 
This just provides a little extra adhesive for my battery. Next, I place my battery over the trace circle, making sure the positive side of the battery is facing up. Then I apply a second piece of conductive fabric tape from the top positive side of my battery onto about a half inch of the cardstock. I leave a gap and then continue applying tape to the rest of the positive side of the circuit, connecting the trace sticker outlines. Now it's time to apply my reed switch. I start by placing it over the gap, making sure the little metal legs are on top of the tape I've already placed. You can bend the legs as necessary to line them up correctly. Then I add more conductive fabric tape over the legs of the reed switch to adhere it in place. I apply several small pieces in different directions to make sure I've got a good hold. You can use as much tape as you'd like as long as you don't cross or overlap the positive and negative lines together. You want the reed switch to be secure, so add as many little pieces as necessary. Then I trace my sticker shapes once more. After you apply the tape, you can't really see the positive edge or negative point anymore. So I center the stencil over the circles again and lightly retrace the shape over the tape. Now it's time to add my LED stickers. The rainbow fade animating LEDs are shaped like flowers. You can see that three of the petals are grouped together on one side of the sticker and two of the petals are grouped together on the other side. The larger three petal grouping is the positive side of the sticker and the two petal grouping is the negative side. With all of our stickers, the largest side of the sticker will always be the positive side. And a helpful trick to remember that is that we want more positivity in this world and not less. I carefully apply each sticker keeping the negative side towards the outside of the panel and the positive side towards the middle of the panel. Make sure that both sides of the sticker are overlapping the correct piece of conductive fabric tape. And now it's time to test your circuit. I'm using small magnets to activate my reed switch and I place the magnet onto the reed switch and move it slightly until I feel it hold in place. You'll see that my LED stickers are now lighting up and changing color. Next I adhere my light bulb die cut pieces together. To make a more convenient holder for my magnet, I add a glue dot to the back of the magnet. I peel off the adhesive backing and then adhere the magnet to the back of the light bulb die cut. This little yellow bulb will now be my magnetic switch. When I place it over the reed switch and find the sweet spot, the LED stickers light up. I take a second magnet and touch it to the back of my light bulb switch to find the correct side that will stick together. I adhere another glue dot to that magnet and then attach the magnet to the left side of my circuit panel. This creates a place for my light bulb to stay when it's not lighting up my circuit. I'm almost ready to start assembling my card, but first I add small scrap pieces of conductive fabric tape over the positive and negative sides of my LED stickers. This just helps ensure that they won't shift or move. Again, I make sure that I don't accidentally overlap the positive and negative lines. If I did overlap them, the circuit would not complete and my LED stickers would not light up. To assemble the card, I start by gluing the gold, glitter, merry and bright outline over the black panel with the punched holes. I make sure that the center of the sparkles lines up with the holes. Then I pop out the letters from my rainbow panel and individually paper piece and glue each one onto the panel. I also glue the gold glitter center outlines onto the R's and B letters. I test my circuit by stacking the sentiment panel over the circuit panel and moving my light bulb to the reed switch. As you can see, it still lights up, so we're good to go. I apply strips of foam mounting tape over my circuit panel and then carefully line up my sentiment panel on top and adhere them together. 
I also glue the rainbow blended frame onto the sentiment panel for more color. Later this week, I'll share another easy light up card using the leftover gold and rainbow pieces. And that's it. My little light bulb has a magnetic resting place on the left side of my panel, but when you pick it up and place it over the reed switch, the magnet holds to the reed switch and completes the circuit, switching the LED stickers on. And those beautiful animating LEDs fade through the colors of the rainbow. They start in unison, but after a few seconds, they start to fade at slightly different speeds due to the different distances of each LED sticker from the battery. You can find more information on the products I used in the YouTube description below or over on my blog. And don't forget to check out the 2023 Black Friday sale at Chibitronics. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in, and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye!